everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we are going to do the in or out book tag. Hi everybody, like I said, we're going to do the in or out book tag today. Um, this was created by Rick McDonald. Oh my. Whoa. Do y'all hear Pin Pin? That is the scariest sound ever. Penny! Pin Pin, don't scare off my Amazon driver. Pin Pin. She did not scare off my Amazon driver. And so of course that brings Barrett into the mix and now she's gonna go back looking out the window. She looks like a hyena when she does this. She kind of sounds like one too. Anyway, um, this is made by Rick McDonald is the original. I will make sure to link the original in um, the description box down below. Um, so this is gonna be maybe kind of quick, maybe not. I don't know, we're gonna find out. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to like this video because I already know you're gonna like it. So here we go. Sorry, I've got the camera here and I'm looking at my computer over here so I know the tag, so bear with me. Let's take a little drink. This is my wonderful brewmate. Um, brewmate, if you want to sponsor me, like, First one's free. I love it. Having mimosas today. It's midday on a Saturday. It's cool. Um, boom. Let's do it. The first one. Reading the last page first. Out. Like, out, 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 out. Why would I do that? Why would I read the last page first? Why would I do that? I mean, I've been reading a lot of romance. So, you know, romance should live in the happy, happy ever after or the happy for now category. Um, but when I read fantasy, that's not, I'm not going to ruin the ending of a fantasy. Like what if it's cliffhanger? Like what? No. Number two, enemies to lovers. Uh, yes. Yes. Ooh, mm. Give it to me. I just eat it. I'll eat it. I'll eat all of that enemies to lovers. Uh, number three, dream sequences. This one could go either way. Like, I kind of like it when I don't know they're dreaming and then like all this shit happens, all this shit happens and then you're like, oh no! And then you, then they wake up and they're like, oh thank God it was a dream. They're like, okay, cool, we're good, we're good. Versus like when they go to sleep and then they're like dreaming, unless it's romance and then it's like a hot steamy dream that like you were like, I would never do this in real life, but in my dreams, like this is what I really want. Hmm. Mm. Sorry. Four love triangles. Yeah, give it to me. Give it to me. Give me all of the love triangles. Like I love it. I love it. And you know, sometimes like a love triangle isn't always a love triangle like not like really but then if that love triangle becomes polyam i'm just like yes yes um number five cracked spines Ooh. Ooh. okay i feel like you should only have a cracked spine if you have read that book more than once if you have read that book more than once then i want to see how much it is loved Okay, if you have read a book only once, then that book, in my opinion, should not have a cracked spine. I don't know why I think this way, but I do. Like there are some books I've read more than once and that book looks like it has been read more than once. Okay, um, so that's just how I feel. Number six, back to my small town. Interesting. It can be really good. Back to my small town kind of goes in tune with second chance romance to me. And if it's played as a second chance romance, I feel like that can be really nice. But just like going back, I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, number seven, monsters are regular people. Is that in or out? Monsters are regular people. Like, what does that mean? 
Like, what does the term monster mean? You know what? This this question has way too much up to self interpretation because it's like, what if I'm reading like fantasy romance and then like, you know, it's like vampires and werewolves where it's like, you know, if it's a fantasy romance and vampires or werewolves are normal, then they're not a monster versus like if the world is normal people and then all of a sudden there's like a vampire, well, that vampire is technically a monster in the world of the living humans versus in regards to the fantastical. So, I, mm, 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 I don't know. Like, what, are we, like, are we talking like Bigfoot or like what? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Eight, no paragraph breaks. Out. What does that mean? I feel attacked by this question. Like, no paragraph breaks? Like, like, I don't know. That's, no, no. Out. Out. Number nine, multi-generational sagas. I don't think I know the definition of saga very well, so... Um, but, like, I don't, and I don't know if I have this correct, but, like, in Legendborn, great, fucking fantastic book, um, you follow a lot of stuff about generational curse, a generational curse throughout Legendborn, and a generational, maybe not so much curse, but gener there's a lot of generational stuff in that, and that's very good. Love it. Ten, rereading. I haven't been rereading lately. Uh, because I feel like there's too much stuff that I want to read that's been coming out like rapid fire lately. And so I have not been rereading. I used to reread often. I used to reread. So I'm in on that. You can reread however much you want. 11, artificial intelligence. You know, I was reading a romance about artificial intelligence and then I DNF'd it. And I don't think it was the, the artificial intelligence part about it. I think it was just the book. I mean, so it's very much in, but like the person, like it wasn't, like smart house I'm showing my age here the disney movie smart house um where like the smart house was ai no like they had made men essentially or playmates and they were ai in general so in in number 12 drop caps what the fuck is a drop cap drop cap what is that a drop cap a dropped capital it's a large decorative element at the beginning of a paragraph or a section oh okay i didn't know what that was i mean sure why not like it just makes it look pretty i'm okay with that that's in it's totally in 13 happy endings of course they're in they're in when they're needed they're in 14, plot points that only converge at the end. Oof, that could be so, if it is done well, ooh, that could be so good. You're like, you're over here like, what the what the hell is going on over here? Something going on over here, something going on here. And then the end, it all comes together and you're just like, ah, I love it. I love it. Yes. So yes, in. 15 detailed magic systems i feel like that's the only way to go if i don't understand how the magic works because if you read enough fantasy there's a lot of different ways that magic can work okay and does magic always come at a cost is it inherited is it is it you know a give and a take is it you know a bargaining system like i need to know how it works so yes detailed magic systems are in and I need, like, you have to detail it. Like, there's no half-ass in this. There's no half-assing it. Number 16, classic fantasy races. Like, what does that mean? Like, classic fantasy? Is that, like, just, like, the fae? The fae and, like, some shifters? I mean, that's always going to be in. But it's, like, what is classic? What is, what does classic mean? The masses need to know. 17 unreliable narrators are out because I don't like when you don't have the information like why don't you have the information like if you're going to tell me a story I need you to have the information about the story or else this needs to be done from multiple points of view you know I'm right 
18, so out and for 17. 18 evil protagonists. Ooh. I don't think I've read one where there's an evil protagonist. Um, but I feel like I would love it. I mean, I've read more like a gray, like morally gray character. Um, but I feel like I would still love it. So it's in. 19, the chosen one. That's pretty simple. That's in for me. But it like, I don't want it to just be like the chosen one and everything is like given to that person. Like, no, I need them to figure out that they are the chosen one. Like they don't know it. That's the way I want my chosen one. Like prophecy-esque. When the, 20, when the protagonist dies. I mean, it can definitely be in, but it's gonna make me sad, but it's definitely in, like put it in. 21, really long chapters. If they serve a purpose, they can be really long. Like if during this chapter, I need to know all this information, that is fine. Go ahead and make it long, like do it. Do it, I don't care, do it. I probably won't even notice that the chapter hasn't ended yet. Like, but I hate when it's like, when people break up long chapters into shorter chapters and then you're like, okay, but this is really like one chapter. Like, oh, their daddy coming home, bitch. Um, so yeah, um, but I need it, like, make it make sense. It needs to make sense. French flaps, what are French flaps? Who comes up with these terms? French flaps. I'm like really afraid to Google that. A French flap is a fancy pants design in which the cover includes... Oh, so that's like normal, which gives a publisher. Oh, so like a French flap is like a normal hardcover book. Yeah, so that's in. That's what I expect out of my hardcovers. Like, I don't understand. Like, it just it flaps over so you don't have a hardcover. So it's like, it's really, you're really asking me to open a hardcover book or not. And it's totally in. Come on. Um, Deckled Edges. It's not a requirement. If it's there, it's nice. But like, I, it, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a thing. Um... You know, I decided to do this because I knew my husband wasn't going to be here. And here he is coming home early. And now the dogs want to go see him. Bitches. 24. Signed copies by the author. Of course that's in. Of of course that's in it's not out it's not a requirement but of course that's in like come on dog earring page is out that's it 26 chapter titles instead of numbers out because i need both like i need to know the number so that way like if i'm reading from like paper copy to kindle copy to audible or something like that like i'm not gonna remember what the title of the chapter was i'm gonna remember like oh it's on chapter 30. so that way i could easily do that so <laughs> easily do that but guys that's all 26 questions for in and out um so i will make sure to put those down in the description box i will tag some people tag me when you guys do it because of course anybody can do this tag like i cannot wait to see what you guys have in mind what you guys think is in and out so let me know but that is it for me. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button. Don't forget to follow me on all of the social medias. And until next time, keep turning the pages.